In this video, we are going to look at the problem. A small child is blowing a horn that emits a sound at 2000 hertz or running away from a parent at 5 meters per second. The parent is running after the child at 7 meters per second. What frequency of sound does the parent hear? Since we're looking at a problem where one sound is emitted at a certain frequency and we're expecting a different frequency to be heard due to the movement of one or more of the objects, that tells us we're dealing with a Doppler shift problem. So I've written down my Doppler shift equation here. The idea that the frequency observed is equal to the frequency of the source times the quantity, uh, the speed of sound plus the velocity observer divided by the velocity of the sound minus the velocity of the source. All right, so when we go through this problem, the source, which is the child, is emitting a sound at 2000 hertz. So that's going to be my frequency of the source. Now, because we're not specified any information about temperature or different types of gases, that tells me we're going to use our assumed 344 meters per second for the speed of sound. So that's why I plugged in the 344 meters per second here. Now, when we do this, we have a child, which is the source, and we have the parent, which is going to be the observer. So the source is running to the right, for example, and the observer is also running to the right, for example. So one's chasing the other. So this means that the observer is moving towards the source, which is why I plugged in a positive velocity here. And the source is moving away from the observer which is why I stuck this extra minus sign in there. So remember, towards is positive, away is negative. And when I completed my calculation, I find that the frequency heard by the observer or the parent is 2011 hertz, so the frequency increased.